Today we're going to do something a little bit different than Norm. We're going to do a book review. I recently received a copy of the Foxfire book from one of my good friends. Now the Foxfire books, there were a series of 12 books in all and it originated from a school teacher named Elliot Wigington and his students and they created a magazine called the Foxfire. What Elliot Wigington decided was that the Appalachian culture was disappearing uh, at an alarming rate. Uh, folks in the old ways, uh, mountain folk, country folk, um, the way that they lived their life of kind of like the modern day prepper life that we emulate today, um, they actually lived day in and day out. And it was information that had been passed down from generations. So he and his students wanted to capture those stories and uh, preserve them for future generations. All in all, there's about 9 million copies in print and there's 12 different volumes. Now this was the first volume of the Foxfire series and that magazine, like I said, that contributed articles to these books that eventually became these books, excuse me, uh, lasted over 40 years. So we have to thank those students, those teachers that went out, interviewed those folks, captured that information, and uh, they brought it back so it could be preserved so folks like you and I could have something where we could take out and learn how to do some of the skills that uh, they owned back then in order to live their daily lives. Now, I've dog-eared some of the pages. We're just gonna go over them real quick. Just some of the things that I highlighted that I found real interesting. Now, the first one basically talks about wood and the different characteristics of wood and forestry, what different wood is used for, different trees, from pine to hickory to oak to locust to walnut. Um, this in and of itself for anyone who does bushcrafting uh, would be a valuable resource. Next one is tools and skills. Now I've been looking this over and I'm looking at tools and I'm thinking to myself I'm going to start cruising more garage sales and if I start finding more of the hand tools that I see that's in here I'm just going to start picking them up and when I go up to the woods just start practicing some of the skills that are in here basically notching and how to make joints, splitting logs, how to split them correctly to make them into boards. There's also a part here about building a log cabin. Takes you through all the steps, foundation, from foundation to finish. All the joinery that you would use. Uh, another section, making baskets. Now, this one struck a nerve for me because I grew up in northern Maine and it's a big tradition up there with uh, the abundance of ash trees that uh, they're known for weaving these beautiful baskets. Uh, I remember my grandfather when him and I had a trap line when I was a young uh, man growing up there he always had a wooden basket that we use basically as a backpack where we put all our trapping supplies in when we used to go out. Here's one that uh, anyone who loves DIY projects would like. It's on soap making and that process of how to do that. I found that chapter very interesting. Here's one that's near and dear to my heart. I do a lot of stuff with scouts and we do a lot of Dutch oven cooking. Uh, this was a great chapter on Dutch oven cooking. Uh, I'll probably do a, another book review on just Dutch oven cooking. Uh, I have a few books just on that. If anyone's interested, you know, leave uh, comments below and we'll get that video out. Also, I found interesting was weather signs. Now, I remember my grandfather and he was born in 1900. So as I was a young kid, I could always remember we'd be working out in the garden or we'd be out hunting and fishing and he could just tell from the air, tell from the sky, he could tell what the weather was going to be within a day or so and he was pretty accurate. Uh, you know, these got to remember these folks lived off the land. They were in tune with nature 
and uh, they could tell the signs just from forecasting from by the insects, by plants, how birds reacted, how animals reacted. I mean, it's just a great resource here. Another one I found interesting was home remedies, especially uh, if we're ever in a uh, crap hits the fan scenario and there's not going to be a pharmacy readily available. Uh, this, this may be a lifesaver. The folks couldn't run out and just go to ready care. They had to do stuff at home. I remember living, we were about 70 miles from the nearest town that had any sort of ready care or a hospital. So it wasn't like you could just call 911 or hop in the car and five minutes later be there. Some of these uh, remedies I remember as a child that my grandmother would do, even my mother back in the day uh, for earaches, uh, eye ailments, uh, headaches. I mean, just great resources here. Have a chapter here on hunting that I found really good. Uh, great stories in here too. And it's just told uh, just like someone sitting around a kitchen table, talking to someone's uncle, talking to someone's grandfather. I mean, just awesome way they wrote it. Talking about how to hunt rabbits, how to hunt groundhogs, how to hunt squirrels, all the way to deer, turkeys, bear. Just an awesome resource. This is a book that I would be on the lookout for at any garage sale, any used bookstore. Gosh, even on the internet, I mean, they haven't been a paperback version now. They're like 14 bucks on Amazon. But like I said, I'm gonna put a link below in the description. And I found a PDF file of the complete book for folks that maybe don't have the money to uh, run out and buy a copy. Uh, maybe you have access to a printer. You could print out possibly a uh, chapter at a time or chapters that you're interested in and just take them out in the woods with you and practice some of these skills, own these skills. Awesome book. I want to thank my friend uh, that gave it to me. I mean, this is uh, just a valuable resource. Knowledge, folks, you can't put a price on knowledge. And once you own that skill, no one can take that away from you. Folks, this has been Wingman doing a book review on the Foxfire book. Uh, I invite you all to uh, go check out that link. Find something in there that you like. Read it. Give me some feedback uh, in the comments below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, folks, please subscribe. Thanks again. Until the next video, take care.